So I've set up the Logitech review and here it is sitting on top of my Time Warner cable box which thankfully is compatible. I didn't check until after I had ordered the review if this box was on the official compatibility list which I will link to in this post at Droid Dog. Up here is the IR blaster. This is the first run. Welcome to Logitech Review. Turn on your keyboard controller. Locate the power switch on the controller and slide it into the on position. Press the OK key to start setting up your review. Congratulations on setting up your new Logitech review. Now for the first time, you can easily search and find just what you're looking for across your TV, the web, apps, even the media on your home network. Use apps like Pandora and Netflix. Features like dual view and optional accessories like Logitech TV Cam. Review makes your home TV once again the center of all your entertainment experiences. Welcome to the future of entertainment. Alright, so here we are a couple of hours later and I've had a chance to uh, set up some accounts like Amazon for Video On Demand and Netflix. And I've also taken some time to look around a little bit and uh, get an idea of how this is laid out. So we're starting on the home screen here, and I'm not sure if you can read that menu on the left there, but at the top is bookmarks, and in the icons on the screen I have Live TV, YouTube, Logitech Help Assistant, Logitech Vid HD, Amazon Video On Demand, Netflix, and I can use two fingers, well maybe not, yeah, on this screen, two fingers on the trackpad, scrolls like a Macintosh, so down there I have Logitech Review Accessories. Um, I can click any of these, and I can also use the D-pad over on the right side of the keyboard to just bounce from icon to icon. Now that's weird that I'm jumping from skipping Netflix. That's I can't seem to get it on the row with Netflix, which is really odd. So I'll just click it if I want to. Let's try that. There we go. So I got into Netflix. All right, back to the home menu. Next entry down is Applications. And if I select that, I'm not going to open all these up yet. But just a quick run through, there's CNBC Real Time, your photo gallery, Google Chrome for full web browsing, a couple of Logitech entries, Napster, NBA Game Time, Netflix, Pandora, Settings, TV, and Twitter. And real quick, I'll just point out in the settings that if I go into my input devices to change the settings on my uh, keyboard, when I go to adjust trackpad settings, all I can do is change the speed, the speed at which the arrow responds to me dragging my finger across the trackpad. There is no way to make it recognize a tap as a click, which is a bit of a bummer, but I'll get over it. All right, back to the menu here. Next option down is Spotlight. So these are highlighted items. Um, all sites. Okay, Blip TV, CNET, New York Times, HBO Go, Crackle, The Onion, Vivo, and YouTube. Real quick, let's just take a look at HBO Go. So it's just instant viewing. Uh, I could sign up. Should I try to sign up and see what happens here? Free with your HBO subscription, which I don't have, so... I did tell uh, the review that during my setup, but that's okay, I can forgive it. So you'll see when I hit home, it just fades away whatever the current item you're looking at uh, is, and it's in the background there. If I hit home again, I can go right back to it. So that's kind of neat looking. Um, most visited, so here you can see couple of websites I haven't visited very much so you can see it just uh, shows a few more than what we've just gone through here you have your queue and there's a getting started with queue video it says it's been there for nine years I don't think that's accurate let's go ahead and watch that and this should launch the YouTube website not a not an app and I get HD Google if I launch it full screen content from the web into one simple place when you subscribe to pod so it'll reload in HD and you can watch 1080p. Google Q gathers endless Which might be too high res for uh, my internet connection at this hour of the day. I'm just going to pause it here and edit out the loading for you. 
We don't need to watch the whole thing anyway, so I've got enough here to uh, get us through Contact 10 seconds or so at least. Contact one simple place. When you subscribe to podcasts, series, or websites, your queue will automatically update, so you'll know right away when new content is available. You can add content to your queue in a number of ways. Within Google Queue, you can search for podcasts on your own or browse through a variety of categories. Subscribe to add a podcast to your queue, and as new podcasts are available, your queue will automatically update. You can also search for and subscribe to online TV series and add your favorites directly to your queue. From the quick search box, look for... So that's enough to give you an idea of what the queue is about. Next item down is what's on. And let's go into uh, comedy. And this is checking my uh, cable box with Time Warner. Colbert Rapport. Let's tap that. And it's a commercial, but there you go. Oh, wait, here we go. Also a commercial. The station continues playing in the background. Now, Amazon Video On Demand um, is a really cool feature to have. Uh, last night I was looking for one of my top ten movies, The Way of the Gun, and I wasn't finding it on Netflix or in iTunes with Apple TV. So I was happy to see that they had it here on Amazon Video On Demand, um, but they are desperately in need, not just Google TV, but Amazon in general is desperately in, in need of uh, a good application for delivering their videos on demand. Here we have top top movies, top TV new releases, but even though I have set up my Amazon account, it does not show my library. So in order to get there, a few ways I can get to it, but if I go to bookmarks, I can click on Amazon Video On Demand. And this just opens up Amazon.com, and uh, you search for movies up here, and then you would just get results and click on them. Um, my video library. Here we have The Way of the Gun, which is too filthy to preview there, and I'm not going to play much of a movie anyway. Um, just want to show you real quick how it looks. Automatically goes into full screen mode, which is nice. And I have a shortcut at the top for my video library. I can close the player. And now I'm back in school. And though the faces may have changed. And down at the bottom there we have play and pause. And we can uh, bounce around through the series. Uh, now again, I, I don't have a very good uh, internet speeds at this time because uh, I don't know why. Time Warner Cable. But uh, you know, you can see your connection rating down there in the lower right hand corner and it changes the quality of the video based on the speed you're getting. So I'll close that. Got a good, decent player. It works fine. I just wish there was an application for browsing my videos, purchasing new ones. I think the website is kind of a clunky way to do that. What about Netflix? Netflix is going to remind you of uh, the interface that you'll see on uh, the PS3 a little bit. Possibly some other gaming consoles. PS3 is the only one I use. So here we are in my instant queue. Uh, it's proof, proof of alien contact. Let's watch that. So there you see the quality is uh, pretty high rating, actually, like 75%, whereas Amazon was showing like 20%. Retrieving license. Now this is the first Netflix uh, movie I've watched, so I'm not sure if it always does that retrieving license deal. So there you go. Aliens. Close encounters. An unidentified flying object. Okay. So that's Netflix. Uh, let's see here, we've got Instant Q. Go into a menu. Hmm. Okay. So
So I might be missing something here, but it looks like you might only have access to your instant queue on Netflix. Applications. Let's try... Let's do what everybody's been doing from Best Buy locations. Alright, so here we are. Let's see if we can reply to Carlos. Have to get used to this trackpad here. It's kind of kind of strange using that. So maybe I'm uh, missing something. No, we got a menu, but nothing in there. Not sure how to uh, reply to Carlos. I might just have to type at Carlos Graves. Back home, and I should point out the the only place I've noticed that you can really even tell this is Android is that menu at the bottom, the edit settings, that looks very Android-esque with a blue theme on top. Please welcome Austin Goolsby. So, now what I'd like to do is watch some true HD television. My Comedy Central is not HD. So I'm going to hit the search key on my keyboard and I'm going to search for CNN HD. So let's try the CNN newsroom. That's on CNN HD. Um, oh, okay. It's showing me a different, uh, showing me a program that comes on at a different time of day. But I'm just going to click Tune now. Okay, that's odd. It, uh, it's having a hard time with that. Let's see if I can just go to television channel. I just type 1400. Then there we are with some true HD programming and it looks very nice. Alright, back home. So I can do a search from here or I can hit the search button on my keyboard and I can either type in a full URL at the top there or type in um, a search term. So let's just do droid dog. I forgot that it's only one word. Alright, so here it's popping up some videos uh, and the website itself. Let's go to the website and see how that loads. And again, I can uh, use both fingers to scroll on the trackpad. You can see how slow my internet is at the moment, even though I pay for upgraded speeds from Time Warner. So the fact that Amazon On Demand and Netflix worked at all is uh, impressive, actually. And it says, would you like to try out YouTube Lean Back? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. YouTube Lean, Pack is, Lean Back is specifically designed for your Google TV. It's a new viewing experience where you can easily access the best videos available on the Internet. Yeah, I do want to try that. Has Obama failed to reduce hostility towards obnoxious Americans abroad? <laughs> Why would you want to? Have ob obnoxious Americans abroad failed to stop being obnoxious Americans abroad? That's just so odd. Okay. Um, oh, I thought I was waiting for something. Okay, I got to do a search. Um, monkey dance. Everybody loves dancing monkeys. Except for the monkeys, which makes me think maybe we shouldn't like it. Oh, that looks. No, we'll do this one. Okay, this is weird. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay, there we go.
same old YouTube ads. <laughs> That kid is out of control. All right, so I'm gonna hit the down arrow again near on my D-pad. What? What? Actually, I don't want to play that one because it, it's got. Uh, music on it and record labels might kill me and my wife in our sleep if I play that. And here's Crackle. There we go. 360p but full screen. If you have a fast internet connection, it should look pretty good. I was a failure. I was a failure, and I get very sad and depressed about it. And I can't be that no more. Because I really feel like I've betrayed myself big time. Because I think when I, I know when I was growing up, I had all the potential in the world. Now I'm, I'm back to being Mark, who, who has a beer in his hand, and is thinking about the great American script and the great American movie. And it looks like... I don't know if these are chapter points or advertisements. But anyway, there you go. That's a good idea of what Google TV is like, and uh, I'll be bringing you more on this very soon.